tuned into the truth frequency. We are TFR. For they had said, come and let us build for ourselves a city and let us take axes and break open the firmament so that the water flow from there and descend below that he may not do unto us as he did in the generation of the flood. And let us wage war with those in heaven and establish ourselves there as gods. Welcome, friends. I'm your host, Zen Garcia. This is Secrets of Field here on TruthFrequencyRadio.com. And I thank all of you for taking the time to join us this evening. I have as co-host always, Kathy Dunson. Kathy, are you there, sister? Yes, I am. Good evening, all. Welcome. And uh, we have as special guest, Mark Sargent. Mark, are you there, brother? I am here. And thanks for having me. Uh, thank you, brother. He's the host of Strange World, which uh, broadcasts live here every Tuesday night on Truth Frequency Radio as well. And he is the author of uh, Flat Earth Clues, The Sky's the Limit, and the soon-coming Flat Earth for Dummies. Is that right, Mark? Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> That's All a right, good well, idea. <laughs> That's right? not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, and so, if, if you would, can you you know tell people where they can go to find and support your work and the exact times to catch you live? Sure, uh, to catch me live again on Truth Frequency Radio. That is Tuesday nights right now, seven Pacific, ten Eastern. You can go to my website, enclosedworld.com. The book Flat Earth Clues is on Amazon in audio formats and digital format and every other format you can think of. Or you could just type in Flat Earth Clues into YouTube, and the YouTube channel is Mark K. Sargent, my name. Excellent. Well, I know most of the people that are involved are beginning to look into and research uh, as far as Flat Earth as topic, have heard or have studied your work. And I know that many people also pass on your video series and probably your book now. Uh, to those that are just getting into it in order to make it understandable for them because you do a really good job in presenting it in a way that um, you know opens even the layperson to the various different aspects and segments of it and get them to consider and to open themselves to the possibilities of it. And so... Um, what other kind of projects are you working on and anything of just, you know, stupendous interest? Because uh, I know you really you have your finger on the pulse of what's going on with Flat Earth as far as topic community um, and breaking news events. So sure. Uh, yeah, it, it has been an amazing it hasn't been that long since I've been on this show, but a lot has happened. <laughs> Right, right. The, the, in fact, the, the mainstream media world got a real heavy dose of Flat Earth just recently, and which was great timing because we just announced, well, let's start off with the Flat Earth Conference, the right. International yeah. Flat Earth Conference, which is going to be November 9th and 10th in Raleigh, North Carolina. And wow, once that was announced, and that, that should have been news enough for, for the beginning of the year. But then an interesting thing happened, and I don't know if you guys have been covering it that much, but NBA basketball star, right. world world champion, best point guard in the NBA, Kyrie Irving, during a podcast at, on his way to the all-star basketball game in New Orleans, decides to come out as a flat earther. Come yeah. out and, and and his friend and it wasn't just him. His friend it was a, it was a podcast with a couple a couple other people, but one of them was his friend Richard Jefferson, who's also a conspiracy guy. Don't think for a second that that Richard is is punking him or trying to troll him. He come he he baited him and Kyrie went for it. And so by the time that plane landed, the mainstream media was ready to descend upon him because. Most people know that in the in the sports world, especially professional sports of, of football and soccer and basketball and baseball, 
sports stars are, no, are notoriously boring at interviews. They are coached literally to say, you know, certain phrases and paragraphs when it comes to sports interviews. You know, give 110 percent. The team played hard and we, you know, the other team was good. And I, you know, coaching, blah, blah, blah. You know, all this crap we've all heard a million times. Mm. So when the best point guard in the NBA comes out and says, oh, yeah, by the way, I believe in the flat earth. Here's why goes into some detail and then he goes into a room, uh, you know, a stadium basically filled with reporters. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to come at right. him. And by the time and that was on a Friday night that he did the podcast. So by the time and Saturday and Sunday, the you know, a lot of shows were were, were already digesting it. But I, I already I called it by Monday morning. The shows that aren't that are weekday shows, basically every weekly show on or even daily show on ESPN covered this thing. So I was so busy <laughs> two and three weeks ago. I was literally just producing videos as fast as I could because not only did Kyrie come out and say this, but then Draymond Green from the Golden State Warriors, he was like on board. I was like, yeah, yeah, it could be. You know, you could tell the guys that were in and weren't. And then his teammate, LeBron James, the currently the most recognizable athlete in the world, he, he didn't shoot it down either. You know, he was sitting right next to him going, yeah, you know, if he believes it, he's OK with me. And it didn't <laughs> didn't make him seem crazy at all, which was so I was just cranking out videos as fast as I could. So I'm literally looking at my video list and I, you know, I put out I put out a conference conference video and then Kyrie Irving, then Draymond Green, then LeBron, and then CNN covers it in a CNN article. They drug uh, uh, Bill Nye, the, the science idiot, back into the, <laughs> back into the game. And, and, and so I did a rant on him and I don't know if you, I may have caught it or may have didn't, but oh, Bill yeah. Nye has now become one of my new personal hobbies. <laughs> Which is that man? Oh, just that's everyone again. Deceit with him. He's well, not a science guy. <laughs> you well, know? that's just it. That's just it. It's it's not. He he. It, I will say this: there's no deception in his title. He's the science guy. He's just a guy that yeah. talks about <laughs> science. But here's the thing: mains, but but mainstream media. And I won't go off too much on this. I'll give you the quick summary which is mainstream media loves he looks like such a quintessential nerd that Mr. Rogers put him on camera give him a topic yeah, revenge of the nerds put him on the camera give him a topic and he looks credible but the, the but I mean he's put on panels which he has absolutely no background in whatsoever it's like Bill Nye let's let's ask him about meteorology let's talk we're talking about astronomy quantum physics hey Bill, how would you like to design a piece for the Mars rover? Blah, blah, blah. It just keeps going on and on. So look, the man has a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. That's it. No master. He met, well, he met with the president. Wasn't he on Air Force One with him? Yes. I mean, yeah. Obama. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he is every mainstream, and this is just lazy journalism, in my opinion. The mainstream media, they, they realize he's good on camera. You know, not as good as, as, say, Neil deGrasse Tyson, but he's good on camera. Bring him out. People go, oh, yeah, I remember him. He used to do a children's show about teaching science. And, and Disney picked it up. It, it, he is literally an actor. He was a mechanical engineer. They got bored with engineering really early. Started off as an acting in an acting troupe in Seattle, Washington. Did a little skit about him doing science experiments. Really resonated with people. Did a children's show for five, six years about, you know, teaching kids about basics, about how water boils and fire burns and gravity and stuff like that. And people just it just resonated to where now that's what they do. So if CNN needs to talk to somebody about climate change, they're going to freaking bring him on. And that's what they did here. Uh, they brought him on literally to talk to respond uh, to the whole Kyrie Irving thing. As, why are you asking this guy? Why? Why are you doing this? He doesn't. He is not. And granted, he, in his wiki thing, he will say that he's a science educator. Totally get that. But that doesn't. But the disclaimer is not there when he's on Larry King Live and when he's the he's the uh, subject matter expert on who wants to be a millionaire. 
and all these other things he's done. It just anyway it drives me nuts. And he so, just he just sits there and kind of shakes his head and doesn't say a whole lot in response, and and that's good enough for them. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Exactly. He comes and, on with the moniker and the signs. And actually, I have to give kudos to to Jake, the flat earth a hole. I had I didn't know that in depth uh, background about him until I saw his video. So mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of real good truth digging in the flat earth community. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And again, Bill Nye, I understand he 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 found a role, he found a niche, and he is. You got to remember, his first book wasn't even put out until two years ago. He's just been milking the acting thing until, you know, for years and years. And I mean, uh, starting from the early 90s, he's been milking this thing. And people, he's he's the modern day Mr. Wizard. Although I'm pretty sure if you looked up Mr. Wizard, he probably had more education than Bill Nye did. <laughs> Bill, Bill Nye wasn't even a Hollywood actor. He was a Seattle actor that did a skit where literally he was just a jacket and a bow tie talking about science. And, you know, thin, his facial features, you know, very nerdish looking guy. You know, if he, if he wore uh, glass, thick glasses with tape around the center, it would be perfect. Uh, anyway. anyway, so they, they Sports Illustrated actually called him up to, at home to talk about the, the Kyrie Irving thing. And then I'm, I'm looking through my videos. Sports Nation did a show on him. The Jump, uh, which is a basketball show. The first take on, on ESPN did it. Uh, let's see, Sports, 120 Sports, another big uh, big show. And then Joe Rogan, uh, and this this happened, you know, rapid fire, you know, by Monday and Tuesday. Then Joe Rogan could not help himself. He drags Neil deGrasse Tyson into the studio, takes him, brings him into, into his place for a video interview, and they're talking about Kyrie to at some point. Then TMZ gets, you probably saw that one, when TMZ got Neil deGrasse Tyson, I caught, they caught him at home after smoking a whole bunch of weed. And <laughs> <laughs> seriously, he was, he was freaking baked. And, and he's just laughing and saying that he's, it's, that he's saying stuff to the effect of, well, it's a free country and you can say what you want, but Kyrie should stick to basketball and not ever come near science or NASA which was insulting. Um, yeah, totally. a AJ Styles, the World Wrestling Federation guy, you know, former champion, although they're all champions on WWE. He comes on on a wrestling show and he's dancing around the issue. His friend knows full well he's, in, he's into conspiracies and he believes in the flat earth. And AJ Styles says to, to the effect where, yeah, you know, I, I he goes, I'm not going to talk about it, but there's some stuff here that you wouldn't be able to handle. It's like, I know, I know the dirt on flat earth. And oh, geez. <laughs> then, then, then what happened? Uh, then it was brought up on the, the Bill Maher show. It was an interesting panel, Bill Maher and Seth MacFarlane, the creator of family guy and American dad and, and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. They're they're having a really really tough time with it because Bill Maher is a big science geek. ESPN Radio, Mike and Mike brought it up. Uh, Fox Dicks Dish Nation. I'm doing. I'm just reading through wow. the list of my my videos. Uh, oh, cool. And then I, I will 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 we'll end the Kyrie thing with, with this part, where then Kyrie goes on. Uh, I'm sorry, Richard Jefferson goes on Fox Sports, and I've actually got the T-shirt. You guys can't see it here, but. Richard Jefferson released a brand new T-shirt. I don't think he even copyrighted it. Called "Flat World Champions," which <laughs> is uh, the kind of a kind of a globish thing, but it's got a basketball instead of a globe, and then around the top was "Flat Flat World Champions." Talk about <laughs> you could not ask for better publicity in such a short amount of time because one, right, the season's still going, so the deeper this guy goes into the playoffs. The, the more exposure because mm -hmm. the more the more wins he's in the peak of his career it's not like a retired guy or a flash in the pan he's the world champion point guard mm -hmm. so as he goes on in the season any kid that looks up Kyrie Irving all you have to do is type in Kyrie Irving mm -hmm. into Google you will find flat earth all right. over he's, did you he, mention Howard Stern mention it too I, yeah I haven't I haven't even gotten to that part yet I'm just sorry the um I, I was I was wondering which you know, there's so many different topics. We can go to this. Don't let me forget about the SpaceX moon mission. You got the, it. The um, let's see, uh, Howard Stern. Yeah, that's God, there's so many videos I've made. The Howard Stern 
uh, I don't know who called into the Howard Stern show, but he brought up, brought up Flat Earth to Howard Stern, brought up my name. And what's interesting was Howard Stern didn't hang up on him right away. He let that sucker go for a while. Wow. And he played the first video he found on YouTube was from ODD. He plays a little clip from the ODD video and then kind of jokes around how he's going to do a show from the edge of the earth, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that Howard Stern's even talking about it without hanging up and just saying the guy's an idiot. Oh, geez. Eddie Bravo. That yeah, was I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So here's the story there, because it's it's it really depends who you talk to. This is about he's the best. He's thinking about it. Oh, well, you see, he, he represented Eddie, really well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was well impressed. So Eddie Bravo has been on, uh, you know, uh, um, I don't know if he's a cage fighter. I know he's a Taekwondo guy, a big, big fighter. And he's a friend of Joe Rogan's and he's been he's he's been on Joe Rogan's show a bunch. And he's more extreme. He's what Joe Rogan kind of used to be. I think he and Joe back in the day would swap conspiracy stories and, and just amp each other up. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah, Joe, Joe Rogan, not a, Joe Rogan's not a conspiracy guy anymore. So that that's fine. So Eddie gets invited finally. And I, somebody, some, one of my listeners said that they had actually badgered Alex Jones. I had always criticized. There's, there's three people, three shows that will not even really entertain flat earth, which is interesting. Uh, the th one, one is coast to coast, even though they did a show with me on it. The two is Joe Rogan, even though he's talked about it on at least oh, what, 14, 15 different episodes now. Mm. He won't dedicate a show to flat earth, but he'll talk about it. And I know full well, it's just because he's, he's obligated. He, he was threatened and he, he just can't. Yeah. And the third is Alex Jones. Alex Jones, one of his producers, at least it was at least a year ago, came to me and 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 asked me, is it possible to do a flat earth show without talking, without saying flat earth? What? And I know. Yeah, exactly. And I go, <laughs> well, I, I know where they were going with this because the tie, you can dance around the issue as much as you want, but sooner or later, you're going to have to say it because the, the listeners are going to want it too. They're going to say, what are you, what are we talking about here? Right. They, Different people who have interviewed me have also said the same thing, and that is we're kind of nervous because of the backlash. Because as you know, in the chat rooms, uh, unless it's a show that kind of that's, that's kind of pro flat Earth, the, the chat rooms just light up. The phone, oh, right. it's a call-in show. The phone lines light up. Doesn't matter who it is, people just go berserk. Right. They don't. They don't know what to do. So the Alex Jones show was the same way. I mean, they've got. I mean, they just broke two million subscribers on YouTube. And that's just the YouTube part. That's not their other subscription service. You know, they 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 do pretty well, and they're afraid that if they entertain flat Earth, the argument will be, how can you even talk about this, right? But mm -hmm. it's gotten so big now, the community and the community is so enthusiastic that they had to deal with it one way or the other. So they did something very clever. They invite. Uh, they fly down Eddie Bravo down to Texas because that's where Alex Jones' show is, down to Austin, Texas. And they invite him out to dinner with all the producers and assistants of the Alex Jones show, uh, InfoWars, without Alex. So Alex isn't in the room. And that's deliberate because then you just you put some drinks in Eddie and just let him go. You know, <laughs> spin him like a top and see see what happens. And everyone, you know, he's running that room. And, and the original and, – and what they did was they filmed it. It was a live stream. I've never seen this wow. before. But yeah, awesome. it was a live stream for like two hours. And I knew this because I had, it was on a Tuesday. It was just this last Tuesday. And I knew because I had – somebody was, was messaging me because I had a show to do Tuesday night. And I'm watching this thing literally up to the last minute before I jump on my show. Because it's like, holy smokes, he, he, he's, he's talking about it. He's talking about it a lot. And they're asking him questions. And he is absolutely representing – he just yes. going, 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 going. And what was interesting was, was after he was done, they pulled that from the wow. info channel. Now, of course, it wouldn't make any difference because there were people already recording. So they, but they, in fact, out of the two hours that they streamed, they only put 38 minutes on, on YouTube. And I grabbed it almost immediately. And nice. the part I grabbed that talked about Flat Earth out of the 38 minutes he talked about flat earth for about 20 of it and the info wars uh, uh watermark is in the corner and you can see that 
And then they pulled that, but somebody else recorded the whole thing. And so I grabbed the other 24, 25 minutes of it. So I did Eddie Bravo talks about flat earth at Infowars dinner, part one and part two. Awesome. It was so great. I mean, he would not, you could tell he was totally into it. He knew, he knew his stuff backwards and forwards. He even mentions Eric Dubay's video at the end, it was an interesting choice of videos. He he mentions Eric Dubay's The History of Flat Earth, which means that he it was very, very recent. The History of Flat Earth is not an old video by Eric. And so he goes out, he he does that. That was fantastic and, and great, great for him. And he 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 didn't say anything. You know, other people they couldn't attack him. He's a really he got a really great gift of gab. He's got a lot of passion. And it's fantastic. It was it was great to see. And so then he goes and the reason here's the reason why they did this dinner because when he goes on the Alex Jones show, which was what two plus hours, they didn't talk about flat Earth. Alex never brought it up. He Eddie didn't bring it up. You could tell that somewhere between dinner and the Alex Jones show, they said, "Look, you talked about it last night. We're not going to talk about it on this show." And the reason was is because during that stream, you know, it's a great test. The internet is fantastic now for using it as a test bed. So you let you put the video out there, you look at the social media co the um, comments, right. and then you judge for yourself. Okay, where where what can we do with this? And they decided it was there was just too many people on both sides. You got a group of people who are saying, "Wow, I'm so glad you talked about this." And the other side, the scary side for them is, "Look, I'm totally going to unsub if yes. if you do this again." And and that's all they have to hear. You know, it comes down to I hate to say this, but it comes down to the money for those guys. Yep. Exactly. So they they pulled it from the they pulled the video from Infowars and but it didn't matter because we had a, there was enough people out there and they didn't even copyright hit me with a copyright thing and um, oh. I even monet I monetized the video and I was waiting for them awesome. to <laughs> copyright it and they didn't Joe Rogan copyrights all his video stuff Alex Jones though did not in this case and I thought that was I thought that was very interesting yeah, anyway I so all. All that stuff I listed up to happened in the last three weeks. It was well, that is awesome. It was Eddie. Eddie Bravo is fun because he brought out the props. You know, he had the the light in the center of the table as the sun and salt and pepper dinner shaker. Oh, yeah, yeah, the dinner plates. I mean, it was really it was, a, a great example. He was perfect. Example. I mean, yeah, he got yeah. some of the dates. He got some of the dates wrong, and I know he had a few drinks in him. But oh, but I got some things watching him that. I just had been stuck on before something clicked and it was from that. So nice. Nice. And then the, uh, the one, I mean, again, that was just a couple days ago. And then yesterday I posted AMTV who, yeah. who usually you would think would just tear this thing apart. And he's got 300 something thousand subscribers. He brings on ODD a video chats with him for 30 minutes. It was incredible. Like ODD did a very great job. He hasn't he's done a whole been bunch killing of it. Yeah, it was, yeah. Just, it was just amazing. And then today, I haven't even posted a video on this. I don't know if I'm going to. Guess who came, came out of out of hiding and did a uh, a group uh, hangout today? Who's no that? idea. Eric Dubay. Really? Eric Dubay nice. went on Dell from Scotland, I believe. Oh yeah. He, uh, he beyond went, the imaginary curve. I love yeah, his channel. He, he went on that hangout. Wow, today. it was amazing. Maybe I, it's he's, like, uh, opening up. I, I was like, okay, well, he has to. In this case, it's gotten he so big. He's gotten so big now. Like, look, you can stay behind your castle walls for as long as you want, but you're gonna miss the. You're gonna I'm miss mixing metaphors here. You're you're gonna miss the train if you do not jump on this thing fast. Mm -hmm. The fact that ODD is on AMTV, you got to get on something like now. Right now, if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna keep doing what you're doing, because the, there's people, there's people now that are gonna be that my interviews are picking up. Uh, I just finished 103 yesterday, and that was a university place in in uh, Western University out of Canada. I can't remember what, what city is 